A sold to B means A will be called as seller, B will be called as buyer. What will be the journal entry for A and what will be the journal entry for B? These three journal entries will come in the books of seller. What will come in the books of buyer? We'll work on almost five to six problems on the basis of these journal entries. Hello everyone, I am your other sir, lecturing with Yashram PU College, the temple of excellence. So we are in the session 3 of your topic called Bills of Exchange. Now, in the first session we discussed about what is Bills of Exchange and in the second session we discussed what is Promissory Note. Theory part we completed, now it is for problems. Now, as I told you, there is a 12 mark question in your examination. Now, we will not do complete 12 mark question now. We will do one part of 12 mark question so that we can understand this concept bit by bit. I have made two parts. First, we'll learn first part. Later, we'll go for the second part. Now, the first problem on bills of exchange. So, in the problem, as I explained you, just remember the diagram. One is buyer, other one is seller. Buyer, he bought some goods from this seller and he told that the money will be paid after two months. Money will be paid after three months. For that, what seller has done? Seller has given some document. What buyer has to do? He has to sign and saying that after three months, I will give your money. The document will be with whom? Seller. This procedure we call it as bills of exchange. The same procedure if you put it into problems, how it will be. We will understand that. Payment of the bill to the drawer on maturity on 1, 1, 1st January 2017, A sold. A sold to B. A is what? Seller. B is what? Buyer. A sold to B means A will be called as seller, B will be called as buyer. Now, in this, seller also called as what? Drawer. Buyer also called as what? Drawee. Clear? Yes. Now, and one more name for uh, seller is also called as P. Remember, these things are very, very, very important. Why? Because you will have that confusion that who is drawer, who is drawee, who is pay. Remember, drawer and pay called as seller and drawee is called as buyer. Now, so what is the amount here? 20,000 and draw three months bill. How many months they have given? Three months bill. The major thing is what is the amount? 20,000. What number of months? Three months. We will not do any calculation with month here. We need only money, amount. B, for the amount, B accepted it and returned it to A. Means what? B accepted, he signed the document and returned to a. B honored his acceptance on maturity. Once it is the end of third month, whatever he promised that I'll give you that uh, amount after three months, he has given. Record the necessary journal entries in the books of A, in the books of B. You have to do three journal entries in the books of A, three journal entries in the books of B. Easiest journal entry, I'll explain you that. Now, what will be the journal entry? Remember, he is a seller and he is buyer. What will be the journal entry for A and what will be the journal entry for B? I will not use any procedure or concept here. Just in a shortcut, I will write down the journal entry for your better understanding. Okay. Now, first one is what A. Remember, he is what? Seller. And he is what? Buyer, seller and buyer, under seller, under buyer. The first will be buyer account data to 
sales account. This will be your first journal entry. If the name of the buyer is Raju, then what you should do? Raju account add on to sales account, first thing. What will be the second journal entry? The second one is bills receivable account debtor to buyer account. Remember this. What is the first one? Buyer account debtor to sales. What is the second one? Bills receivable account debtor to buyer. Why bills receivable? Means you are not, you are just assume that you are the seller. You are not, first what you did, you sold your goods. To whom you sold? To buyer. Now, first one is done. Second one, you are not receiving cash. You are receiving what? Document, signed document. That signed document, we call it as what? Bills receivable. Bills means document. Receivable means you have received. To buyer account. Second one. So, this bill is valid for how many months? As per the agreement, it may be two or three months. Once end of the third month, what will happen? The bill will be converted to cash. Once the three months over means whatever document he agreed, he will pay the cash and he will take back this document. So the journal entry will be third one. Bank account data to bills receivable account. First, second, third. I have not written debit and all. As I told you, it is only for understanding purpose. Actual problem will do it later. Now just you understand what is what are the journal entries. These three journal entries will come in the books of seller. What will come in the books of buyer we will discuss. First one, instead of sales what will happen? Purchase will happen. Now purchase account that are instead of buyer who will be there? Seller. Reverse. To seller account. This will be your first journal entry. What is a journal entry? Purchase account data to seller account. Seller may be XYZ. We have to mention his name. First one is done means we'll go for the second one. As per this, bills receivable to buyer. If it is reverse means what? Receivable will become payable. Now, this will be seller account data to bills payable account. This is the second one. Now, third one, bank to bills receivable, make it ulta, reverse. Bills receivable will become what? Bills payable. Now, bills payable account data to bank account. This will be your journal entries. Now, just take a screenshot of this. Why? Because while doing problem, we'll work on almost five to six problems on the basis of these journal entries. No need to uh, get explanation for every problem so that if you understand these journal entries, almost half of your bills of exchange is done. Please take a screenshot. Now, so journal entries as per the seller, what will be the journal entry? Without seeing board, you have to tell me now. Just repeat, what will be the journal entry for seller? First thing, buyer account data to sales account. What is the second journal entry? Yes, bills receivable account data to buyer account. What is the third journal entry? Bank account data to bills receivable. Very good. Now, just look at the journal entries in the books of buyer. So now you have to close your eyes and you have to tell me what are the journal entries comes under in the books of buyer. Yes, the first thing will be purchases account data to seller account. Second one, yes, seller account data to bills payable account. Third one, bills payable account data to bank. Hope you understood the journal entries. Remember, we have to do two times. One is for seller, one is for buyer. Now, journal entries in the books of A. A means what? Seller. Now, seller also called as drawer. Now, 
first date whatever they have mentioned we will write or uh, what they, how many months they have given three months now the last journal entry you have to add three months so first january means first january means it will be first of february first of march first of april exactly you have to add three months remember for every bill of exchange we have three days grace period means normally first january agreement took place means this will end on when first april 2017 but they have taken what date 4th april why because for every bills we have three days grace period you have to calculate three months whatever date you will get for that you should add three days remember this about date i will take separate class it is very interesting one but in your examination you will get only you have to add only three days but you have concept for date now in this as i told you who is the buyer b b account add to sales account bills receivable account add to buyer bank account add to bills receivable same journal entry i'll go back see buyer to sales b to sales bills receivable to buyer bills receivable to b bank account add to bills receivable bank account add to bills receivable same journal entry we have done what is the amount 20000 20000 20000 these is all about journal entries in the books of a now we'll go for b purchase account add to seller seller to bills payable bills payable to bank again i'll go back purchase account add to seller seller to bills payable bills payable to bank bills payable to bank same thing we followed what is the amount 20000 20000 20000 20, what is the date 1st january 1st january for the last journal entry it is a payment when he will make payment after 3 months add 3 months along with that add 3 days grace period now it is done with your journal entry hope it is the easiest thing to do bill of exchange yeah now this will be your problem number 2 now in problem number 2 payment of bill to be drawn in this which one is important amount and month what is the amount given 1 lakh number of months 3 months date is what 1st january 2017 for the last journal entry which one you have to mention remember first journal entry it will be 11 2017 For second journal entry, one one two thousand seventeen. For the third one, it will be four four two thousand seventeen. Remember this. Add three months along with that. Add three days. Now, so hope it is similar to your first problem. Hope you will only do this problem. Please do it yourself. I'll show you the answer, but without seeing answer in your book, you have to prepare this. same thing uh, shamu is a buyer in this shamu to sales account bills receivable to shamu bank to bills receivable what is the amount 1 lakh 1 lakh and 1 lakh this is all about in the books of drawer in the books of drawee or acceptor acceptor means what buyer purchase to ramu ramu to bills payable bills payable to bank so i am not explaining anything why because it is all about your journal entry journal entry copy paste just write on the same amount everywhere clear yes this is all about journal entries in the books of buyer now you have to write narration also purchase goods from the ramu bills accepted the amount of the bill paid on its maturity mug up these narrations every problem you have to write same narrations this is all about your today's session we done with two problems on bill of 
exchange. Hope that journal entries are very easy to remember and easy to understand. In case of seller, bills receivable. In case of buyer, it must be bills payable. So I'll end this session with the saying that learn concept and earn marks.